Today we're going to learn how to build a major scale. Major scales are a specific sequence or order of half steps and whole steps. Before we talk about what half steps and whole steps are, let's hear and see a major scale. Even if I start somewhere else on the keyboard and it looks different, Because I know the sequence, the scale will sound the same, but higher or lower in pitch. Knowing the sequence, I can build a scale anywhere on the keyboard. To help us understand how to build a major scale, we're going to look at the C major scale. The C major scale does not have any flat or sharp notes. That's going to help us understand how to build a scale. But first, we need to find C. An easy way to find C is to look for a group of two black keys. The black keys are in alternating groups of twos and threes. Once you find a group of two, Go to the key on the left and slide down and to the left one key. You found C. This happens anywhere on the keyboard. There is a group of two black keys. The C next to the center group of two black keys on the keyboard is middle C. We have found middle C. Starting on C, I can go up the white keys to make the C major scale. If I use my music alphabet starting on C, I'll eventually make it all the way back up to C. This allows me to label all of my keys on the way up. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. To understand how to build a major scale anywhere on the piano, let's look at the sequence of half and whole steps in the C major scale. A half step is the space between two notes next to each other on the keyboard. If we play up the C scale, we notice that this only happens between E and F and B and C. Everywhere else on the C major scale, there is a black key in between two white keys. Only between E and F and B and C is there no black key in between. These two notes are next to each other and the space in between them is called a half step. Well, if going from one piano key to the key right next to it is a half step, going up one more key makes a whole step. So two half steps make a whole step. Here we can say there is a whole step between C and D because we have to go up two half steps in order to move from C to D. If I keep going up the scale, I'll notice that there's also a whole step in between D and E. 
there's a whole step between F and G. Another whole step between G and A. And lastly, the last whole step between A and B. Now that I know where all of my whole steps and half steps are, I can figure out my sequence. Whole step. Whole step. Half step. Whole step. Whole step. Whole step. Half step. So my sequence is whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. To remember the sequence, I like to say it like this. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. I can make a rhythm out of it. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. The C scale is a great scale to learn first on the piano because the white keys naturally have this pattern of whole steps and half steps when you start on C. If you start on C and only use white keys, you will always make the C major scale. Now that we know how to build a major scale, let's try somewhere else on the keyboard. Starting on G, I go up a whole step. From A, up another whole step. A half step up from B is C. Luckily, we already know there is a half step that naturally happens between B and C, so I can stay on the white keys. A whole step up from C is D. A whole step up from D is E. Remember, there is also a half step that happens between E and F. But I need to go a whole step instead of a half step. To do this, I move up two half steps. So from E, I move up to F. And from F, I move up to F sharp. So my whole step is E to F sharp. Now, to get to my last note, G, I just move up another half step from F sharp to G. And I've completed my G major scale. If I play those quickly, it should sound just like a major scale. Now that you know how to make a major scale, try building one somewhere else on the piano.